Hello! Sa video na to, mag-explore tayo ng mga information na nasa onlinejobs.ph website. Uh, ano nga ba si onlinejobs.ph? Si onlinejobs.ph dito nakapost yung mga online jobs na available sa mga uh, Filipinos. Ang mga nagpo-post dito may mga Filipino employers, meron din namang mga uh, international employers. Actually, mas madami yung mga international uh, employers na nandito. Pero mainly, um, they're looking to hire Filipino workers. Um, hindi katulad sa ibang online job websites na may mga international applicants. So, dito um, tayo lang pwedeng mag-apply. Um, so, kung job seeker ka, we can check for jobs here by clicking job seeker. And then, kung employer ka naman or client ka na naghahanap ng um, ng worker para sa business mo um, dito ka sa uh, search Filipino resumes so since looking for a job tayo um, dito tayo sa job seeker so pwede natin pwede tayong mag-type dito sa search bar let's say customer service Pwede tayo mag-type and then click search or we can also click on browse all job posts. So, ito na tayo sa all jobs na to, hindi lang customer service. Um, ano to, most recently uh, posted jobs yung makikita natin dito. Dito sa job category, pwede tayong mamili, office and admin, English, writing, marketing and sales, advertising, web development, etc., etc. Naman sa job subcategory, let's say pinili natin si office and admin or virtual assistant, mamimili tayo ng subcategory, data entry ba, transcription, etc. So, ako, um, dito sa video na to, pakita ko yung, um, dito lang tayo sa general, hindi ako mamimili ng job category. And, pwede natin i-filter by employment type. Um, so, pwede tayo, pwede natin i-check kung gusto nating freelance lang, or part-time, or full-time. So, for example, naghanap ako ng full-time, Chinek ko na siya, click natin tong refine search results para ma-filter yung mga available na full-time jobs. Pero, let's say, open tayo sa kahit ano, freelance, part-time, or full-time, check lang natin yan lahat, and then click refine search results. So, itong pinakaunang or pinaka-fresh na Bagong job, open natin. Dito nakalagay yung um, subject line about dun, about dito sa job. Data entry, email automation using Lemlist. Uh, $2 to $4 an hour, 30 hours a week. So, open natin si job post. Um, and dito yung subject line, type of work, kung part-time, full-time, or freelance. Salary, sweldo niya is 2 to 4 dollars an hour, 30, 30 hours a week. ID proof, uh, 65 yung required ni client. So, yung ID proof na to is, um, kasi kapag uh, bagong gawa pa lang yung online job speech account mo, mababa pa yung ID proof mo. So, para pataasin yung ID proof, um, usually nasa uh, pagbagong gawa, as far as I remember, nasa ano, 20 to 40 pa lang ang ID proof. So, para mataasan yung ID proof mo, um, basahin mo yung requirements ni online jobs. Um, pwede kang mag-upload ng government um, government IDs, um, tapos i-connect mo yung Facebook mo. So, ilan lang yun para mapataas yung ID proof mo. So, date posted, March 16, pinostong job na to. 
and then job overview at the na yung description ng job. So make sure lang na basahin natin lahat and um, basahin yung job requirements. So kung feeling naman natin na kaya natin lahat gawin tong mga nakalagay dito, um, then we can click on apply na. So ngayon hindi natin nakita yung apply button kasi hindi ako nakalogin. Pero kapag nakalogin ka, may kita mo yung uh, apply button. Um, so, for example, sa job post na to, data entry, ang job requirements niya, sabi niya dito, 50% of your time will be spent doing the following. Consolidate lists of potential clients. Um, email clients using Lemlist. I think Lemlist is a tool. Um, follow up with clients and schedule meetings. The remaining 50% of your time will be managing social media posts, review videos daily before sending to clients, take notes on footage, find music for editors, etc., etc. So check tayo ng another um, job post. Um, SEO specialist, property management, um, writer, full-time. So, check ko naman um, part-time lang. Okay, nandito na yung mga part-time jobs. Searching video editor for YouTube. Hmm. Check natin to. Searching video editor for YouTube. So, ito yung subject line, type of work, part-time. Salary niya, $100 per month. Hindi ko alam ano yung CA. Or a Canadian siguro to Canadian dollars. Uh, 10, do 10 Canadian dollars per hour, depending on work speed. Um, ID proof niya is 70 na post March 15. Um, ang job description... Ayan. Punctual, English skills, familiar with YouTube. Aside from job listings, pwede rin tayong mag-search ng mga resumes. Um, check natin tong si teacher, si more. So, dito, ito yung, exam ito yung sample uh, online job speech profile or online job speech account. Actually, profile. So ito yung mga ito yung lalagay na ilalagay natin sa um, account natin, resume or um, ito yung may kita ng client. So kapag nag-apply ka sa job post, uh, may kita nila yung profile mo, ito yung lalabas. So dito expected lalagay mo yung uh, main job mo or industry or field mo. So, siya, teacher, tutor, writer. Um, expected salary niya ay um, 15000 a month. Education, andyan, experience, basic info, um, etc. So, skill summary. Dito natin ilalagay yung um, work experiences. Um, and important details about our previous jobs, um, about our skills, and itong mga to, sariling ano to, kayo, tayo ang magre-rate nito. So, ni-rate niya yung sarili niya sa speaking 5 stars, um, 4 stars sa video editing, um, etc. So, kung employer ka, i-click mo tong contact worker. May option pa dito to pin. Pag nagustuhan mo si teacher, pipin mo. Um, background data check. Si background data check for employer to. Um, and then ito pa, mark as hired. Yung background check, um, 
optional to para sa employer eh, as far as I know. Yeah, as far as I know. Um, kasi may mga jobs naman na hindi na sila nagba-background data check. Pero ayan ng mga option na nandyan. Aside from jobs na available, aside from resumes, um, and nga pala dito sa resumes, pwede tayo makakuha ng examples kung paano nila sinusulat yung um, account nila. So, for this one, nandyan ng mga tasks na uh, or skills na alam ni worker. So, if hindi tayo sure sa tasks description, we can copy others ano naman description. Um, so, aside from jobs, resumes, meron tayo dito sa how it works. Um, FAQ for employers for job seeker. Dito tayo sa job seeker. Um, and dito yung mga usual questions about um, online jobs or online jobs.ph website. So, paano ka mababayaran? Um, so, either PayPal, EasyPay, Western Union, may mga clients din na um, nag-direct deposit sa um, bank account, sa personal bank account natin. Um, and si online jobs is walang card. Mm, ang mainly na nag-uusap dito is um, ikaw na worker, tayo na worker, at saka si client. Kumbaga, labas na si uh, online jobs sa kung anumang transaction uh, between workers and employers. Um, so, ito, when do I get paid? Ito, depende yan sa... Um, employer or sa client natin. How do I know this is legit? Actually, ayan, sabi din niya dito, um, malalaman natin kung um, maitry na natin. Um, ito pa yung ibang mga <clears throat> um, FAQ. So, ayan, Sign up if wala ka pang onlinejobs.ph account or log in kung meron ka ng online, online jobs.ph account. Ang 